All right, so tonight, big night in wrestling, the Ring of Honor pay-per-view. Uh, Final, Final Battle, Battle 2010. From the uh, from the Manhattan Center, isn't it? Uh, yeah. 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 Uh, so it's going to be a great show. It's going to be amazing. Um, they never disappoint. This is going to be our first actual live pay-per-view. Well, our, I, our first, yeah, and so live pay-per-view. I'm excited. So I'm excited still, about yeah. it. So uh, we want to talk. Always, to... We've always kind of gotten things a little afterward, just yeah. after, after yeah. hearing about it. and Or buying the DVD. I think finally, at least in my case, I you know, and and maybe it's maybe it's kind of sad that it took me this long to get to this point, but I'm just so very done with the other two. Companies. Oh yeah, I, I tried to get into it earlier this year. I tried watching all the shows yeah. and talking about them, and just well, I was, totally made me uh, you know frustrated with the entire business. I just I don't want to I don't want to deal with WWE when and was, TNA. When I was in Chicago, you know, I was uh, I was. Had access to cable and I was could watch Raw and watch Impact and SmackDown and and Ring of Honor, and it was just there's no contest. You know if you if you're if I'm watching if I'm watching Monday Night Raw, and over on ESPN is the the three to nothing Jets Packers game, <laughs> and I'm watching that instead, or there was some crap game that was on Monday. I don't know, but there was some crap game on Monday night and I was just like it was more interesting. It was literally more interesting. It was yeah. a low-scoring game. <laughs> yeah, this time of year, it's, it's like they, they totally... I don't want to... I, I could go off on a rant. Yeah, on I think it was Jets Ravens. Raven. That's what it was, Jets Ravens. Let's, let's anyway. talk about Ring of Honor, because they're doing yes. everything right right now, and I think this card is going to prove that tonight. Let's, yes, uh, indeed. Well, first... Let's talk about the matches on the show. Uh, this, uh, we're using starting Wikipedia from, here starting to get the from, cards. Uh, so. Yeah, well, hey, they, they keep their shit updated. <laughs> Um, starting from the uh, the bottom here, we've got the All Night Express, Kenny King and Addict Love Reptitus against Kyle O'Reilly and Adam Cole, who I've never seen before. Yeah, but um, uh, they're new hires. They both just got hired back in September to Ring of Honor, so they are. I believe they're getting their pay per view start here tonight. Yeah, I I I'm interested to see this match. Uh, Titus and King do work well together. Uh, yeah, I mean as long as they not bounce Titus all over on his own. As they bounce as... all over the Ring of Honor card, the two of those guys do. Yeah. So, but, you know, they should be plenty qualified to put on a match against a couple of new guys. And if Ring of Honor feels the need to debut a couple guys that most people don't really know a whole lot about on a pay-per-view, you know, I, they've, they've got to have something to offer. All Night so. Express, and All Night Express is, is a good kind of opponent for for the new guys, I think. Yeah, because they I think can a lot work of... the heel thing, and they yep. can cover up any mistakes the other guys make. Yeah. And, you know, hopefully Austin Aries will be a ringside, which is always entertaining. Yes, definitely. So, um, but next match on there. Uh, we get Col- 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 ah, Colt Cabana uh, versus TJ Perkins, otherwise known as Puma, when he has his mask on in, uh, in the Mexican uh, uh, he, Puma was in TNA during the World X Cup mm-hmm. for a while. He was indeed. He was on uh, Team Mexico. And, and um, um, yeah, you know, this should be good. Cabana... You know, Cabana really uh, depends on me. Depends on how he works the match. I actually prefer him when he's being more serious and more heelish. Yes. And um, so I think. But the nice thing about pay per view matches with Cabana is what usually happens is he might start off kind of silly and doing some things, but as soon as the other guy like starts getting offense in, he he gets he gets his head. In he shape makes and a nice starts, transition. Yeah. Uh, I like to compare it to Shawn Michaels in a Michaels pay per view match. He intentionally puts on a boring show for the first five to ten minutes of the yeah. match, lulls the crowd to a sleep, and then builds and then, up. Yeah, and he gets a Cabana good develops his character throughout the match. He, you know, brings the crowd into thinking it's just going to be a you know big happy fun time because Cabana's going to act it's like a Cabana, total yeah. doofus in the ring, and then you know then it turns serious, and then you're like, you can because of the transition being made. Cabana comes off as more serious because you've seen him develop throughout yeah, the match. I agree, and I think that you know he does he, he works less well for me in television formats when he when his matches are shorter and mostly it's comedy. Yes. Pay per view, I can totally handle a Cabana match, and he's, and he's a good wrestler. So one of the things that should be positive about this match is both guys have great speed in the ring, so I, I think that'll play off of each other pretty well. Yeah. They're slightly different size wise, but. I, I do think that um, both guys can really go and have great cardio, so I, I think I, I think it's going to be a fun match. They'll probably give this match a little bit more time too. Oh yeah, which I mean, should be good. Uh, homicide and Christopher Daniels. It's the battle of people who just couldn't take TNA anymore. <laughs> um, 
Uh, they're going to be... And more power to they're, them. They're the, I wish Samoa Joe would have taken your route and gone back to the independent scene where st- they would be treated like God. I still think that these two are actually the pioneers in the movement back to Ring of Honor I that many so. wrestlers will probably be taking in the next three to four years. And when but, TNA folds. Yeah. <laughs> these, these guys have been uh, a breath of uh, fresh air, you could really say, for Ring of Honor. In yeah. that it's an influx of name talent that has experience and brings the history of Ring of Honor back to the forefront, especially since this company has introduced itself to a lot of fans that don't know anything about the CM Punk, the Samoa Joe, the, the Homicide, yeah. the Christopher Daniel days. They, they didn't watch the company until it hit TV. Now it's on TV. And, hey, here's the history of this company. We're going to put it in one match. Daniels has reinvented himself. Uh, he's he's come back from all the crap that TNA put him through. He's, he's, he's Christopher Daniels again. Uh... Homicide is back to being Homicide. He's, he, you know, Homicide is such. He's the the Steve Austin of Ring of Honor. Yeah, so it's it's a great thing know. to see the 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 crowd, because Ring of Honor's following is so strong. The crowd, as soon as they see Homicide, they immediately block block out everything that was Homicide and TNA. They yeah, immediately harken back anymore. to. Homicide stabbing Colt Cabana in the face with a fork. Making him <laughs> drink Drano. Yes. <laughs> Just doing absolutely <laughs> awful yeah. things to people. Yeah, they go back to the Rottweilers with Loki and his with feud with uh, and, His feud know. with, um, with the, the GM. Oh, with Cornette. With Cornette, yeah. 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 That just, yeah. Instantly, those thoughts come back, and people go, "All right, this is going to be good." And his title run, which was brief but really, really well done. Yes. Um, so you know, uh, and these two guys know each other really well, so this should be a fantastic match. They'll give them a lot of time. Um, I'm, I think I'm calling uh, uh, Homicide to go over. I'm going to call Daniels in this one because right on. um, one thing I did notice talking about this is I, I believe anyway, Homicide has been feuding with the Embassy. Uh, oh really? And. Um, Necro Butcher recently, yeah. so I could see Homicide. You know, they they book him losing they, this match as a result of the Embassy or something. Fair enough. Fair enough. So I'm, I'm going to rule Daniels. I, I still think he's, he's going he's to pull it out. Eddie Edwards uh, was scheduled to wrestle uh, Kenny Omega for the television title. No, it was no. going to be a non-title match. Oh, it was going to be a non-title. It was, match. It was non-title. Anyway, he's scheduled to wrestle Kenny Omega. Omega unfortunately is hurt, so uh, Sanjay Dutt. Has apparently been selected it's to take his place. Reported That's being at Wikipedia. Wikipedia, so so um, what we've got to go off of. Yeah, I'm gonna, right. I think it'll be a great match, though. Uh, you know, these two guys, the, their size is similar. They they have great speed in the ring. Edwards, much more technical wrestler, though, so that definitely uh, works in his favor. Dutt's gonna come with some fanfare. You know, he's he's got, he's a recognized name in the business. Yeah, know, because of his time in TNA as he well. Won't be doing any stupid sprinklers either. It, even, if he, even if he does, it, it, his time in Ring of Honor it came with a lot more attitude. You know, people yeah. forget Sanjay Dutt came from CZW, yeah, he's a bad uh, which was you know a, a really gutter hardcore wrestling company. So uh, I really, I really do think that that's going to be a, a great match. I think. By the way, for the sake of having a more slightly more reliable source, I've pulled up the actual ROH website, <laughs> and yes, Sanjay Dutt is facing Eddie Edwards. Um, <laughs> So that should be really good. I'm looking forward to that. I'm, they, they got a really good replacement for that. Yes. Um, speaking of really good matches, <laughs> well, everything. Fantastic but, um, women's tag match oh, on this card. This, this is a. Uh, if you seriously, if you've been wondering where TNA's women's matches have gone, and if you've been wondering what happened to W, you know, if you've been fed up with all the divas and all the crap that's been going on, like order this show because. Sarah Del Rey is teaming up with Serena Deeb, uh, with or without hair. I'm not quite sure. Uh, she's <laughs> Who <what> cares? Bad. <laughs> she's hot either way. So, um, and they'll be taking on Daisy Hayes and Amazing Kong. And, I love, uh, I love that they basically got the top four women that Ring of Honor have in the same match. Yeah. And, 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 and I think they're going to put on a fantastic show. And you know what's great is that they've been pushing this match. They, yes. They've been devoting television time to the yes. feud. You know, this is, a, this is a, in many ways, a continuation of the Daisy hayes Sarah Del Rey feud. And, um, and it brings in an interesting element, too, and I'm sure they'll bring it up. But Del Rey and Deeb had a great series for the Shimmer title. Right before Deeb left for right WWE. Before Deeb left. Yes. And now and, they're teaming up. And so. Deeb defeated her. And, and that, Del Rey and, and that Kong had great finally. matches too. And Shimmer. Kong, so. Kong is Kong. There's I mean, so <laughs> many elements to this. And these I'm women looking are forward so... to seeing Kong wrestle again yeah. because I, she has been missed 
these, on the wrestling scene. These four women have bring so much to the table. What you get a lot with the women wrestling scene is, you know, these women have experience wrestling against each other. So they're going to play off of each other really well. There's going to be a lot of chemistry in the ring. Yeah. And I think they're going to do a lot of things to wow the audience with this one. They're going to go for, you know, they're going to try to go for the home run with this one. And I think they'll hit it. Yeah, and they, and, yeah. Can't really add anything to that. Uh, six man tag team grudge match. This is, this is the kind of silly match of the card, but four of the six wrestlers are decent. So um, this is Ring of Honor's kind of lean towards storyline driven wrestling. Yeah, you know, let's let's bump it towards you know this definitely carries on the Kings of Wrestling versus Briscoe's feud. I don't think this is going to be the blow off of that feud in any no. way. Um, you know, and even adds an it, interesting element to it, even though it does involve Papa Briscoe and Shane Hagedorn, who will, <laughs> who will provide a comedy aspect. I'm sure it's still the Briscoes and the Kings. And um, they you know, won't they, let this match suck. They tear the house down. They so, won't let this yeah, match suck. It's gonna be good. You're not gonna see like what you would see with a with mainstream wrestling product, where uh, unfortunately Papa Briscoe would probably have the most ring time of anybody in the match. They're gonna yeah. book this correctly so that you know while we kind of have a gimmick approach to this match, and it's more storyline driven. This is still going to be a fantastic wrestling match. Yeah, and the, so. the reason this is a big match is because it involves the tag team champions. Because in Ring of Honor, the tag team champions are important. Near They're equal huge. to the world champ. Yes. So, um, so this, that, this should be good. I'm looking forward to it. Um, but <laughs> even more so, uh, this, the unsanctioned match, fight without honor. This match is worth the pay-per-view on its own. One year ago, in the Manhattan Center, Kevin Steen turned on El Generico. And uh, now it, this is the blow-off match. Oh, it's, absolutely. It's ma- uh, if, if Generico loses, Steen gets the mask. If Steen loses, uh, he's gone from ROH. I'm calling Generico to lose. As am I. Uh, I think Steen takes the match. Uh, and But, I mean, just everything about this match has been great. The build-up is great. This has been going for a year. They've been wrestling in every pay-per-view with... You know, you bring in Carino, you bring in Cabana, you know, and uh, and Steen goes more and more crazy, and now Generico is like doing this whole dark thing because he's all pissed off. It's, it's it's been an amazing view. It's 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 something wrestling fans are starved for a year long story arc with a proper beginning, a proper middle, and a, and a proper, proper end. end. Yes. It's go- it, there's no way this match disappoints. There's no. absolutely this no way. Is, These I mean, two guys won't allow it to be a disappointing match. And, you know, it's it's fight without honor, which means they can do anything they want. Yes. And there will be blood. There will be lots of blood. And both have guys no have doubt. shown they are willing to take chair shots, bleed everywhere, <laughs> thumbs up the butt, you know, anything. Anything, anything goes yeah. in this one. And yeah, it's going to be so great. It's going to be, you know, Kevin Steen is probably, you know, probably the best wrestler going on right now that will never be mainstream. Never. <laughs> yeah, not the way he's packaged you know, now. No. But but who cares, man? No, he, I know. If he went mainstream he couldn't do the things he does now and he's just awesome, you know, in this format. I love Kevin Steen, he's yeah. phenomenal. But, um but the then, then we got the main event. event. Which uh uh you know, Davy Richards was supposed to be gone. Uh we heard had heard he was gone at the end of uh, earlier in the year. Uh, and he, you know, Davey Richards uh, came back, rededicated himself to wrestling, cut an amazing promo that was, you know, very uh, straightforward. Yeah, just straight from straight from you know his love of wrestling, and he comes comes back and he wants the damn title, you know, and that's the that's just and Roger Strong has it, you know, Roger Strong is enjoying his first ever Ring of Honor championship run, and I think I'm gonna call it. I think Richards wins the title tonight. I'm, it's looking that way to me. I think that would be a huge payoff because people want to see Richards win the title. Yes. You know, the Ring of Honor fans are, you know, they were so mad when Tyler Black beat him. They were so mad when he lost to Black at, yeah. uh, uh, I, I want to say Death, Death Before Dishonor, but I'm, I'm not sure about that. Yeah, um, well, I think fans had really built up the idea that Tyler Black had to lose to somebody at some point. He wound up running over the entire championship division yeah, during his he, title run. And Richards was the one guy that people said, no, he's not going to do this. can't let him beat Richards. He's not going to do it. And the match that they put on was so amazing. Outstanding. 
and Black wound up walking away the winner. Back. People, were, people were upset. That a Black lot was of people, champion, especially after he went over to WWE. A lot of people are looking at this as redemption for Richards, and I think he's going to get it. Yeah, and frankly, you know, I love Roger Strong. You know, big Roger Strong fan. I have one of the shirts, um, which I bought at the ROH event. <laughs> and uh, uh, but you know, I, you know, his his heel turn is working okay. I just really don't like Truth Martini that much, but whatever. Um, it's going to be a fantastic match. It's going to be a, a just, it's going to tear the house down. And uh, but I think Richard goes over as well. Yeah. So this I'm I'm so looking forward to this, and it's only fifteen dollars. Yeah. Let's see. Fifteen it's be bucks. Than WrestleMania. Seven thirty Eastern. It, it's going to be worth <sighs> it. We're going to be watching. And, yeah. Uh, I hope you are. It's too. easy. Yeah. 